thank you for visiting ReproCell. In this presentation, we'll introduce you to QTempo, a new cell-based assay built around beating cardiomyocytes that reliably identifies compounds that can cause QT interval prolongation, or QTIP. Drug-induced QTIP occurs when a drug binds off-target with cardiac ion channel proteins, most commonly the HERG protein shown here. This binding inhibits ion channel function, leading to arrhythmia and sudden cardiac death. The medical and financial consequences of QTIP are immense and have spurred the development of assays that identify a compound cardiac-related risk. The HERG assay is the most widely used. But because this test is based on HERG genes transfected into non-cardiac cells, it provides an oversimplified and unreliable model. QTempo is based on beating heart cells which are monitored as drugs are added to the assay chamber, in much the same way that an ECG monitors the heart. These beating heart cells have been made possible by recent advances in stem cell science. After the stem cells are established, cardiomyocytes are induced on day zero using a protocol developed by the Stem Cell and Drug Discovery Institute in Kyoto. Twelve days following induction, the cardiomyocytes spontaneously begin their contractions. These contracting areas are mechanically dissected and single cells transferred to the assay chamber. The Q-Tempo assay chamber is based on a standard 96 well plate with some unique modifications. Each well contains a bundle of cells in contact with two electrodes to allow real-time measurement as drugs are added. Data is acquired simultaneously across the 96 wells for each of the test conditions, and drugs can be applied to generate cumulative dose-response relationships. This experimental readout closely resembles an ECG and has been termed an electrocardiomyograph, or ECMG. Multiple parameters are recorded on an ECMG, similar to those identifiable on an ECG. The analysis of these parameters allows a thorough description of drug-induced changes of cardiac field potential. Here we can see a detail for a series of ECMGs which were generated by QTempo for a drug known to induce QTIP. The baseline readout is shown in black. As the drug concentration increases, the QT interval lengthens. Let's look at some marketed drugs which demonstrate the utility of QTempo. Firstly, aspirin, whose molecular structure is shown, does not cause QTIP. As expected, in the QTempo assay, aspirin produces a flat dose response curve with no increase in QT interval across the range of drug concentrations. Overlaying response curves on the right clearly shows a stable QT interval. Our second example, astemazole, is a potent histamine H1 receptor antagonist which was withdrawn from the market when found to induce QT prolongation. With QTempo, astemazole causes a clear increase in QT interval as drug concentration is increased. The lower center and lower right panels are magnifications of the basic plot and show the stability of the baseline trace and the graphic nature of QTempo data. As concentrations of astimazole are increased, a visible transition from a normal trace to QTIP and ultimately to tachycardia at concentrations over 10 micromolar can be seen. This is data which clinicians as well as specialist scientists can readily understand. Our third example is verapamil. Verapamil blocks L-type calcium currents and HERG currents in a comparable concentration range of 100 to 200 nanomolar. Due to the dual effect of this drug, QTIP is not observed in the clinic. In a pure HERG channel assay, this drug would be flagged as a HERG antagonist and withdrawn from development. In contrast, and in agreement with extensive clinical data, QTempo predicts a safe cardiotoxicity profile. This table compares the performance of QTempo with the HERG assay for drugs where clinical effects of QT prolongation are known. Looking at the concentration of drug required for a response to be detected in each assay shows QTempo is equivalent to, or more sensitive than, HERG. More importantly, when it comes to accuracy, QTempo significantly outperforms HERG. In particular, note the QTempo results for rofecoxib, sotolol, 
and verapamil. Rofecoxib, better known as Viox, is a COX-2 inhibitor that was withdrawn from the market in 2004 when cardiac events occurred which caused the deaths of numerous patients. Although there are no reports of Vioxx's QT prolongation activity being detected by the HERG assay, and the link between Viox and drug-induced QTIP remains contentious, QTIP was readily detected by QTempo. Similarly, Sotolol, known to produce QTIP, is not detected by the HERG assay until very high concentrations are reached. And finally, Verapamil, which years of clinical use has shown to be safe, is wrongly identified as an inducer of QT prolongation by the HERG assay, but accurately cleared as safe by QTempo. QTempo reduces risk in the drug development process and significantly increases confidence that a compound will not have unforeseen and costly side effects in the clinic. QTempo is based on beating heart cells, is accurate, sensitive, and can assay complex ion channel interactions. QTempo provides numerous data points in a format that can be readily understood by non specialists, and the whole assay is scalable, allowing high throughput screening. QTempo has been developed by ReproCell. For more details, please contact us by email or phone or visit our website.